When the sun finally came out, we proceeded with the upgrades. This time the idea was to try and redirect the water flowing from the edge and thus hopefully keep it away from the wood. If you can't fight it, redirect it or something like that. The micro gutters we created needed to be trimmed in places as they were interrupting the otherwise quite smooth slide of the hatch to a point that it would actually get stuck at the last centimeters. Some minor sanding here and there, so the hatch would slide nicely, and... Still damp, especially that it didn't rain that much. So we came up with another idea, and that was to basically fill any remaining gaps with epoxy paste as to minimize the flow of moist air around the wood. At this point, we were seriously running out of ideas. Again, the packing tape came in handy and protected all the surfaces that we didn't want the epoxy to stick to. Faith in mission's success was low. This will all end in tears, I just know it. Mogiemy. This is what we achieved, and please wait before you judge, because granted, from this perspective it doesn't look great, but after some trimming and sanding... Ta-da!
we would have to wait and see if it got better this time. In the meantime, we had more pressing issues to deal with. Unacceptable. So we picked up the anchor and yet again headed for Nargana to replenish our coffee and water supplies. While we handle anchoring, may I introduce you to our ground tackle? It's a bit heavy, but what can I say? Oishas like to sleep well at night. So we carry an almost 30 kilogram Mantis M2 anchor and 62 meters of 10 millimeter chain, which we use with a 3 meters number. hasn't failed us so far. We armed our stagecoach and continued the mission with one goal in mind. Fortunately, the run was quick and successful, so we still had enough time to sail back.
and the last upgrade seems to have done the trick and the wood was finally dry. That's the color when it's dry.